Hello, today we're looking at a piano. Uh, this is specifically from Fluffy Audio, something a little bit different, and you might not have heard of these guys. Uh, I only heard of them really because of advertisement and Black Friday. Uh, and so today we're actually looking at a piano that comes free if you purchase absolutely anything on his website during Black Friday, which lasts until the 3rd of December. I think this video goes up just before then, so if you go and grab anything, you might be able to get this piano, which is normally $69 or euros uh, for free. It's a good piano, not denying it. It's really kind of cool. Uh, it's got a lot of different bits to it as well. Um, so I'm actually looking forward to showing this one to you. Uh, I will add right now that you need the full version of Contact to use this. Uh, so full version of Contact, Contact Player alone will not do. And if I'm honest, Contact is a, it's a really good investment. It opens up so many doors, uh, especially for free stuff. Like even on here, you can see there's a lot of things that are actually for free. This uh, variety, I know there's a simple flute, which I'm going to be doing a video on, uh, Haunted Choir. There's a fair few things on here that are free, but only available if you own Contact. And as I said in another video, you can pick up contact for as little as maybe a hundred quid or a hundred dollars or whatever equivalates uh, in those. If you already own a product that works within contact player, you get a significant discount. So remember that. And if I'm honest, it's well worth the investment. So this is not a free product, but you can literally buy my vibes for nine uh, euros and then get the my piano for free. So you're getting like what? nearly 80 euros worth of stuff for the equivalent of nine. Can't complain. But let's actually look at the piano itself to see, is it actually worth it? So what are you actually getting? So you're getting a couple of different patches, actually. It's not just one patch. I think there's an equivalent of like six different ones. There's a cinematic version. There's the piano itself. Uh, there's a pad. There's like a banjo patchy thing. It, it's kind of cool. Um, but he describes it as... Uh, well, my piano is a warm, upright piano sample library for native instruments, contact designed for cinematic soundtracks, intimate jazz and classical impressionist like music. Um, it's definitely got a nice warmth to it. It's It's got the quality. It's not noisy at all. I really like the pedal controls, actually. He used a, a tube microphone, one of Audio-Technica ones uh, with a Neva preamp. Uh, it's, it's definitely got a nice little bit of warmth there. Um, but let's stop looking at the paperwork because anybody can look at that and you guys can read it. He's even got a little demo down there as well. It's um, nearly two gigabytes, uh, so well worth it there. Six velocity layers, which is really nice to see. Um, but let's just jump into contact and see what we actually get. So I've loaded up the last patch in it. It's just the My Piano 1.1. But as I said, you can see over here, we have several different patches, a less latency one, a cinematic one, which I can definitely see a difference with, an ambient one, which I was a bit like, yeah, I think it's a different mic position, um, and then a resonance pad, and then the weird banjo one, which is actually a lot of fun. But looking at the plugin itself, we have an equalizer we can turn on and off, a compressor, a convolution reverb, which is already on, and the position all that response you can adjust everything there this is the velocity control which is really nice to see uh, that you can actually adjust this curvature to exactly how you like it there's a bunch of controls just for that uh, which i really like look at that i might actually do it a bit more like that and then we have decay you can shape that you can shape the pedal resonance the synthetic synthetic resonance, the body, piano body response, and then the noise, which is actually one of my favorite bits. Um, you got the occasional crackle as well as pedal up and pedal down. So you can kind of get into the nitty gritty of this, um, which you'd expect for something you'd normally pay for. So stop rambling. Let's just load it and play it how it is. I'm going to stick to the noise bit here because uh, these are the fun settings. Find my pedal. And let's just have a quick tinker so you can just hear it, um, how it is.
Beautiful piano. Absolutely love it. What I really like is how easy I feel this would mix into everything else. It's a very one glove fits all style sort of piano and we can really fine tune it and adjust it exactly to our needs. For example, this pedal currently can't hear anything. If I turn these right up, you get this lovely little pedal sound. Probably a little bit overpowering there, but I did kind of nearly shove it on max. And you also have this occasional crackle knob, which is actually kind of fun. <laughs> I, I don't know why you would want that. Um, some interesting occasional crackles, but it's a funky knob and why not? It's there. It's, it's a bit of fun. Uh, I'm just going to turn these down a little bit because I do like a little bit of pedal. Um, but let's actually look at the sound itself and how we can adjust this uh, convolution reverb. How, if I just turn this off entirely. Wow, it's really in your ear. I like that though. I like the uh, panning as well on it. It's not too hard. Uh, amount. Oh, okay, there we go. I do love contacts reverbs. They have some absolute gorgeous ones and you can really place that right back as well. And widen it fully, like the full wide, actually even just that, bring that a little bit closer, turn that down slightly and this. And of course you can adjust the panning there if you really want it left or right. But it's very flexible and I like that. And I do actually like, you can really hear those layers there. You can play really soft or play a bit too hard there, but you can really go for it um, with this patch. But let's stop looking at the box standard one. Let's look at some other stuff, low latency. I guess this is just to do with latency. It sounds like the exact same thing as the, you know, the other one, but just lower latency. So I don't think we're going to bother with that so much. But the one where it really starts getting interesting is the cinematic, um, which is apparently more cinematic, I guess. Uh, I guess they just kind of set up the reverb a little bit differently. Let's have a look. And the velocity control. So I guess this is how a cinematic one would traditionally be. You can really set the pedal resonance as well. Let's turn the volume up on that. Piano body response. Let's just turn it all up. And this is the cinematic woman. very dreamy and I like the fact that we can go from this very simple one glove fits all sort of sound to this cinematic and I love that convolution reverb there as well you can really hear it in the cinematic version uh, the way it, the convolutions of it nice what else do we have going for us in here? The ambient position. This, I believe, uh, is, of course, let me just turn the reverb off so you can actually hear it. I believe this is just a, a different mic position. So if you really do want that little bit of distance, uh, you do have a patch with that distance. instead of your box standard uh, piano, which is this one. And we'll just turn the reverb off. 
which is in your face. So you've got multiple choices if you really want that kind of natural sounding, which, if I'm honest, I really do like that ambient position. Uh, resonance pad. This one, you don't have all the fancy stuff. It's literally just uh, behind the scenes sort of deal here. And it looks like it's one sample throughout if we have a look. Yes. Um, and let's play with it. That's nice, actually. And what I like is this guy has not just gone and made, or girl, or them, has not just gone and made a piano patch, here you go, um, great. They've actually gone into the samples, worked them over, and done some creative things with them. Because this is really nice. And it's not that hard to make from once you've got some clean piano samples. But it's nice to have at your fingertips because I feel that would work really nicely. Uh, it's just a backdrop for some, you know, scenes that don't require a lot. And then the piano banjo, <laughs> this one's just fun. Sounds like just plucking strings. Uh, it's just a fun plucky little short sound, which is always nice to have. And look at those layers. Whoa. Wow, that's a lot of samples. Wow, that's a, he's done a, he's really worked it over there. Let's look behind the scenes actually at the, um, the normal piano. I really want to see actually what's going on there. Uh, oh, wow, he has got a lot of sound. We can see he's messed up a bit over here. Um, but wow. That, that's that's crazy how many samples he's got there. Like, you don't need brown robins when you've got all of that. And look, overtones, crackles, pedals. He's done the works here. And so the fact he's giving it away for free for Black Friday, I'm not complaining at all. Um, let's mess with the resonance a little bit more. I know we didn't really look at that much. Let's see what happens if we just turn it right up. So this is the normal sound. So you really need to take that sharpness off. Take that attack off because I'm using the pedal. <laughs> That's really dreamy. What's that do with the raw sound? Uh, let's turn the reverb off and just. I actually really like that piano resonance. That's a lot of fun, although you got to be careful. Um, with taking your foot off the pedal and putting it on. <laughs> Overall, I love it. It's um, it's a piano that I feel is extremely flexible, um, whereas a lot of Spitfires uh, originals, their piano specifically, you do have a level of flexibility, but nothing on this level. Uh, and yes, this is probably a little bit expensive and those ones are 29 pounds, but I feel I could make uh, a couple of different pianos uh, from this instead of, oh, I just have a cinematic piano. Oh, I just have this sort of piano. This one, the controls are really user friendly. They're a lot of fun. You can really mess with them and have a bit uh, and get creative as well as the included patches. Of course, he's got the cinematic, he's got the box standard, he's got a nice little plucky, some pads some resonance. So he's really done the works and I actually really enjoy uh, this little piano and I will be using it. We're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. This has been the My Piano by Fluffy Audio. Uh, we're definitely going to be looking at some more things uh, by this guy. He's got a nice little list of freebies here. Um, so this is not the last we're going to see of Fluffy Audio. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.